Hey guys, it's me, Emma here, and today I'm going to be doing a different type of sim video. I am doing a CC haul, um, and all the, it's Max's match, um, so all the links will be linked in the description. Uh, it has taken me hours to compile, and I'm sure it'll take me a long time to edit it, uh, just check everything, double check everything. But, um, yeah, so as you can see, we are starting off with Ali Zodiac, who is in my Sims 4 Zodiac Legacy series, which I'll have the iCard in the corner, um, so you can watch that if you want. There's only three episodes so far, but, um, so let's get started. Please show mercy. This is my first time doing this. Um, so basically I'm just going to... Uh, I went CC shopping, so um, I'm just going to be looking through everything and giving my thoughts on on it. Um, I've seen all everything that I've done, but it's my first time actually doing it in game, uh, so let's hope it goes well. <laughs> so I had to take out a lot of my other CC uh, because I have so much CC that I wouldn't be able to distinguish from the old stuff and the new stuff. Um, but I did keep things in, like, the four columns thing, um, the more columns. So, I do have some stuff, but just the eyelashes and, uh, skin details. So, uh, sorry if you hear background noise. My house is very noisy right now, but, uh, this is my only choice, so. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Alright, so let's just get started. So, first we have the Sim Mandy era hair, which is right here. Um, it's really pretty and more messy and long, and I really like that, actually. Alright, so this is a Sim Mandy bloom hair. Um, I love this. It's like, um, it's a very pretty short style, and, um... I don't know, I just like the way it looks on the face and stuff. I believe this is an alternate version of the hair, which I also downloaded. Love that. Um, just depends on what sim I'm doing it on, which one I think fits them more. Uh, so, yeah, I think they're both super cute and also is up to, obviously, individual. Alright, so this is the Sim Mandy Satin hair. I don't know if I'm satin hair maybe I don't really know um, <laughs> this is really cute and it actually goes with a dress that I will show later on it's definitely more formal but I also feel like some people could pull it off for more of like a casual look like if they're just wanting to be more fun with their hair um, I definitely like having the strands coming down um, Alright, so next we have a whole set of a bunch of hairs, which are in the Sim Mandy and Infinite Raptor collab. So I don't know the individual names um, of each hair, but it'll all be linked together in the description so you can see which ones you want when which ones you don't. So. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so this one has like <laughs> a little horn and then uh, little flowers, which this is so cute. Love that. Um, and then you can do it with just classic hair bands, which works as well. Um, Alright, so the next hair is this one, which is in the collab, is this one, which is so cute. By the way, um, Sim Mandy's hair comes with a bunch of hair colors. That's another amazing thing. It comes with the classic colors, and then also tons more. So just keep that in mind. I mean, you can see it on the screen, but um, yeah. Definitely a pro. 
So this one is so cute. I love the shore and like very voluminous. So. Aw, it has this adorable bow, which again comes in many colors. All right, and another hair in that collab is this hair, which I love this. Definitely giving me anime vibes. Uh, love that. It's very cute um, and long and wavy. And hats, yet yeah, again, we have this, which is super cool. Um, reminds me of Melina Martinez. So. Love that you can make it half and half. It just looks super cool. Um, so, the next hair I'm showing in the collab is this hair, which is pretty crazy, but I also love it. It's very adorable and. Um, yeah, just super unique and definitely not for everyone, but that's another reason why you can go in the, uh, when you follow this link and you can choose which hairs you want and which not. So just know that when you're following that link, you can choose what you want and what not. Then another one is this one, which I love it. It's like so dramatic, but also super cute. So um, that's definitely cool, which I'm pretty sure this is the one that goes with it. Um, I might be wrong, but I think it is. So, it's definitely very dramatic, but the cool thing is you can choose if you want it or not. So, <laughs> alright, so here is another one, which, again, I love the waves, and the braid is so pretty, and I love um, how the bangs look, just the hair coming down in the front. I really love that. Um, definitely makes her look, I don't know, just like a nature queen. Which for this one, you can add some super pretty flowers, which again have tons of colors, um, on the braid, which I love. Sorry, I was just adjusting in my chair. Then we have this hair, which I, I love all of them. Um, this is super pretty. Like, I mean, personally, the bangs probably would not work on me. But, I mean, definitely Sims can rock it. So, I think the bow might go with this. Alright, so in the makeup category with this one, you can add a little ombre, which is so... Cool. Um, definitely fun to play around with. Um, and I, also the hairstyle is just super unique. Um, just like all the other ones in this pack. So, all right. So that's for that one. And then now the final hair in this collab, which again I am obsessed with. It's just some. Um, braid thingies. I don't know how to explain this. Um, just very thick braids. Um, and of course, um, I love how the style looks on the front too. I love that. Um, additional, you know, it just goes a long way. And also, I forgot to mention, but I believe these double bows go with this hair, which is so cute. Um, just yeah, I just love it. Obsessed. <laughs> Alright, so I believe this is the Sim Mandy Wish Hair, which, yes, I'm. you're seeing a lot of Sim Mandy hairs. Um, I just would look at their profiles and just go bam, 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 download, download, download. And also, some of this stuff, it might not be the newest, but um, this is what I shopped for, so... Even if it's not super recent stuff, it might be from three years ago. Some of it's from yesterday. Um, so it all just depends on what it is. And I still think a lot of people could benefit from at least getting what they haven't had yet. So this hair, it's definitely um, very cute and a good length. So definitely happy with this. Alright, so next up, I 
have a bunch of hairs from, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce this, Isjao, I-S-J-A-O. So this is the hair we're looking at now, which is the Manali hair. Again, I'm sorry if I pronounced things wrong. Um, which is so pretty. Like, <laughs> I just love it. I love the buns with the braids. Uh, I love how they come to the front, just as you would expect, a very well-made hair. So this is the Ann hair by the same creator. Um, I love... Uh, it's definitely more of a casual look, which I love. So, amazing job. So, if you go into the hats category, you will find... Um, you can customize the headband, which um, is awesome. There is a lot of patterns you can use, or just a standard black, which goes with everything so uh, that's very useful all right so this next hair is called the Chloe hair which comes with in the hat section again uh, these little clips so the breadth so that is really pretty um, so next we have the Alweedy hair um, yeah I know I probably butchered that name um, this is super cute, um, definitely for sims who have their natural hair is very curly, which is not Allie's case, but it's so pretty, and I'm definitely looking forward to using this on some other sims. Alright, so this is the <laughs> Urja hair. I yeah, I don't know if I'm saying that right either. Um, definitely like giving him hard names that I cannot pronounce. But to be fair, I can't pronounce most things. So, But anyway, this is a just um, hair with little buns. And it's so cute. And just like definitely for like a casual but cute day, you know. Um, which... Is great so this is not it I don't know so it has um, in addition to this beautiful hair you can also add an ombre to one side which is so cute um, and I'm obsessed with how it looks all right so this is what I believe is the, uh, the Layla hair um, which has these two braids and then these adorable bangs like I said obsessed with their hairs um, and then another thing, as you can see by the thumbnail, you can actually go to accessories and it's a half and half split, which I would never be brave enough to do in real life, uh, but looks great on Sims. And yeah, I just love it. All right, so next we have the next creator. Um, that we have a bunch of hair from, hairs from, is Feral, feral Poodles. Um, so, this is the olive hair, um, which, like other hairs, would be better on, would fit better to someone with, uh, their natural hair fits this. But, um, I still think the hair is adorable. So we have, this is the olive hair, I believe, and then this is the Olivia hair, um, oh, which, go, love go. that. Next up, feral poodles, um, are the Mickey and Ricky hairs, which are, which one of them is this one, which I love all of the braids just everywhere, <laughs> love it. And then the other version of this is without the braids, which I, it has one braid in the back for more of a subtle, simpler look. Um, which, again, comes with these, all these different colors, so that's great. Alright, so next up of Feral Poodles are the Lola hairs, which have three versions. So, first we have this one, which 
is the full bangs. Super cute. Um, something about it, I don't know if the, the particular bangs fit Allie, but I certainly love them, and you can see the thumbnail, they're stunning. Um, and then we have the half bangs, which I think fit her more, um, which is version 2. And I love, um, in the back, that's how those look, super cute. And then version 3, which just has no bangs, which also looks great. Alright, so this is the Zara hair, which I love. Um, I love how um, the creator makes a bunch of uh, hairs for people of color um, and black people, so that's nice to see. Sometimes um, it's hard to find good hairs that are Max's match. Um, so I definitely love this. Love that. So the next hair is the Nikki hair by Feral Poodle yet again, um, which um, I love how there's high pigtails and with braids coming through, I just think it's super cute. So the last Feral Poodle hair we have is Charlotte, the Charlotte hair, which I love the waviness. Um, sometimes I feel like we're lacking in like curly short hairs um but i definitely love this and the volume at the top i just think it looks great um and i like, love the way it shapes the face so definitely amazing job on that in my opinion all right so here we have squeamish you squeamish sims goo hair so we have some crazy braids and then crazy short braids wait no that's not what goes with it and then also at the front, we have an ombre that you can add if you'd like um, to go with it, which I think definitely adds a lot to the look um, and trend I've been seeing lately is, you know, adding, dyeing the front tips of your hair, which I think looks really cool. So the next hair creator we are looking at is um the kai i don't know if that's how you say it but um the first hair we have is the jewels hair which is this super tall um very wavy curly hair so it's hard to find um wavy hair that um with this texture so very appreciative when i find those um and next another hair by the same creator is the plum hair which um has one half pulled back and which has one half pulled back but um it's also straight and mid-length and then if you go to accessories you can add a gradient so that's really cool it's definitely more a, um, it's definitely more of a blunt gradient, gra it's definitely more of a blunt gradient. The Jules hair, which is the next one, is this one, which, uh, she started out with. So, um, I love the wavy buns and, uh, it looks great to me, so, obviously it started with it, so you can tell I like it. This will definitely be a great addition to my CC collection. This is Cordy Sims' Milo hair, which is one of those hairs, again, um, that wouldn't be fit for Allie's hair um, if she's a real person. Uh, but just looking at the way it is, um, it's definitely very stylish. And um, I feel like it would also look really good on boys or like men, so... Um, it's definitely very diverse, obviously. Anyone can wear whatever hairstyle they want, but, uh, oh look, the thumbnail. Alright, <laughs> so as you can see, it looks great on either. Alright, so this is the Amari hair by Dog Sill, um, which, definitely edgy, um, like, 
obviously in a good way, kind of edgy and love it. Next is OK Ruse um, Helena hair. Uh, hopefully I said that right. <laughs> but um, I love the wavy ponytail. Definitely gives me like like a uh, mom vibes for some reason, or like. Uh, eco-friendly vibes <laughs> so it's really cute and I love the waves and the hair at the front so amazingly done and then next is Navy Sims bluebell hair which is this one which I love bluebell ice cream so of course I love this hair um, I see a common trend there's lots of braids into buns which I guess I just really love so yeah, it looks great. I love the texture. So, next is that Miyua <laughs> um, Appaline hair, which is this hair, um, which reminds me of Dua Lipa. Maybe that's just me, but yeah. <laughs> so, this hair is iconic. I love, again, like I said, it's kind of a trend to have the strands dyed in the front. Uh, I love this, and um, I think it would be cool to be able to change the strands on your own, but I can still really appreciate how great this hair looks, because I think it would be cool to ha be able to have more contrast, like this one, but in other ones too. Next we have Candy Sims for Snowflake Hair, which would be this one. I love this. I just love it. Um, gives me girl next door kind of vibes, but also she could like kick someone if she had to. Um, yeah, I love it. It's just so pretty and like you could totally see this for like, like I said, the girl next door, like country, country. So uh, definitely obsessed with this. Uh, and then next is um, Bia braids from. Or uh, wait, Bia braids all behind. So uh, I believe it was an edit of another one uh, of another hair. So it's this one. Uh, this is super pretty, and I love just I just love it. <laughs> These hairstyles in real life are beautiful. So of course, in the Sims, they look amazing. Um, so that's super cool. And then the other version of that, which I believe this one. Uh, is based on is Savvy Sweets uh, Bia Braids which are these ones which again love them uh, there's a bunch of cool colors oh wow that's so cool uh, if you know you know <laughs> uh, but that's really nice to include those for people and then the cool thing about this hair is you can uh, just you can also choose what colors you match so it's very customizable too uh, it can be colorful in other ways so that's super cool um, love that okay guys that's it for this video um, I was going to make this um, have like tops bottoms dresses things like that um and makeup but that will be in a separate video because this was so long itself it would have been like an hour long video um i know i did not upload on tuesday but after this video it sh i should be going back to my normal schedule um so be on that lookout for the second video if you like it. Make sure to comment your thoughts. Um, check out my other videos if you want. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Bye.